Today we're talking about the best piano sample library that you can use for your music. I, if you've been following my music or my reviews on keyboards, um, you'll notice that I've used a lot of different piano sounds. And as a pianist, I'm always looking for the most legit, so to say, the most real sound, the most pure sound that you can get out of an electronic instrument. And so in my search for that, because I've played on, I've had the privilege to play on Beckstein's, Steinway's, Yamaha's, all kinds of pianos, grand pianos. And there is a unique quality to those pianos. There's a reason for their price, for that handmade quality that they go through, um, for them to get to that level. And sometimes the electronic versions just don't make it, don't make the cut. They, you can't compare them. They're just not as good. They don't have all the nuances of the vibration of every string. For example, when you play a note on the piano, on a real one, you're hitting three strings, three notes that vibrate and resonate with other similar strings on the range. And you don't get that nuance all the time. Or when you're using um, a pedal, when you press the pedal or release the pedal, there are vibrations that are released from those movements that are very mechanical, but they're audible and they add to that realism. This piano is a sample of a real Steinway, a very vintage Steinway. I believe it's from the 1950s. I may be wrong. I'll put the information on the screen. And it's produced by my favorite sampling library creator, uh, producer, developer, whatever they're called, Ember Tone. Ember Tone, oh my God, when I started, producing music and making my own. Uh, when I have found Ember Tone, I hit the jackpot. It's just, it's budget, it's accessible, it's real sounding. And I'm not just talking about their piano, I'm talking about the Joshua Violin, the Blockus Cello, I'll review all of those. I have neglected to do it, and I've been using it for two years already. This one I just found about four or five months ago not looking back, none of the pianos I've ever used sound as real as this one. This is the Steinway, they call it the Steinway D Walker, 19 something Steinway piano. And it's recorded sampling, multiple samples of that keyboard, of that piano. All the keys have been sampled. There's just the realism. We have the pedal sound, the vibration and resonance of every key. It just sounds real. And I've played on a vintage Steinway when I was, uh, when I had a scholarship, um, I got lucky. <laughs> I actually started playing piano very late. I was in my soft, in my stuff. I was in my junior, senior year in high school. A lot of people were telling me it was too late to learn. I still did it with an electronic keyboard. Um, but I got a scholarship and my piano teacher, uh, Jacqueline Watson, um, who I really owe a lot in terms of learning the, the theory and learning more about music in one year, uh, because I play by ear. Um, she had a very vintage Steinway and this one sounds exactly like that, maybe 99%. So when I heard this sample and I tried it myself, worth every penny. So I wanna show you, or sample it for you and you can hear the nuances that are there. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new project on my Logic Pro just with that instrument so I can just use that instrument and focus on it, not worry about any others. All right, so I'm setting up my Steinway. It's called the Walker 1955. I was close. Concert D Grand Piano. This is amazing piano. It has up to 36 velocities. If your computer can handle it, max that thing out. Mine is, although it's a MacBook Pro and it's new, uh, I'm finding it at 18 to 24 is the best in terms of uh, computer handling. Cause if you go beyond that, it starts to cut off and it sounds really bad. It's hard to focus. So I'm actually gonna put it on 18 because I wanna use other features on it. Be conscious of the RAM it uses because this is a massive library. So 
I'm playing normal. I'm not going to turn on Unicorda or Round. Okay, I'll turn on Round Robin just because. Uh, the more features you turn on on the actual setup, the more uh, RAM it goes up. I'm going to turn on the tone because it's its natural EQ that they made and dynamic. Um, on reverb, I like Concert Hall 2 and I have it like around 75%. I have it at flipped perspective so that it sounds as if uh, I'm actually sitting at the piano. A neat thing is there are add-ons and I want to get the binaural add-on. You can get the piano. It was recorded through very, very many microphones. So they have a wide version, makes it sound like you're farther away or listening to it, which is cool. I have the standard one right now, so it sounds like I'm at the piano. Uh, but the binaural one splits the sounds very naturally to make you feel like you're in it, like right in front of it, actually sitting there. So I want to try that one out, maybe another video. Um, on response, I don't touch anything. Pedal noise is at standard. I don't want it to be too dramatic. On details, I'm going to put the pedal uh, feedback, the natural one, at HQ. And there's HQ+. Plus. The higher you go, the more RAM it uses. So I'm going to do the middle. And that's it. Let's see. I'm using my speaker because I like to hear the feedback compared to using uh, headphones. I mean, headphones work, but I like to just hear the reverb in the room. So I like to use the speaker. So enough talking. Let's play. <laughs> Let's see, I, I don't, sometimes when I put myself on the spot, I don't know what to play. I kind of just go with the flow, I guess, but um, keep in mind, I might mess up. It's not like I'm performing professionally for you right now, but that's what my recording, my covers are for. Um, I'm going to try something. I haven't been working on this piece very long. It's the introduction. It's actually a flamenco guitar from Vicente Amigo, but I try to replicate that on the piano. So let's see how that sounds. All right, so let's try it. I'm gonna record on the, P on the computer so you can get the actual sound, but I'm using this for feedback for myself. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna start playing. I want you to hear the pedal. It's very subtle, but if you have headphones, you can hear it. When I let go of the note, you could hear the hammer lifting. When I let go of the pedal, you can hear that lifting. So very subtle, but it sounds very natural. Um, in my previous video, I showed kind of the dynamics, so I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Um... This is actually from one of my recordings, Pianissimo. I did a cover on Bocelli's song. It's a duet. It's really on my mind lately, so I'll play a little bit about it, uh, a little bit of it.
here we can hear when you hold a note um, how long it takes for it to go. So again, very natural. It just, it's a very easy um, piano to recommend for anyone. I mean, if you're learning piano, you don't have space for a full one. Having this keyboard with that sound just makes it a real learning experience. Let's see, I'll, I'll play something else for you now. Um,
that, uh, those samples. Again, this library is number one for me, and I hope the samples kind of gave you that sense. And if not, go ahead and go to their website. I'm not sponsored, I wish I was, because I bought so many products from them, like their bassoon, their violin, their piano. Um, they just have a great product, and they're highly recommended. Thanks for watching. Thank you.